are live. Yes. We're we not are live. Sure. We're okay. live. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Hello. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little uh, bell icon. And that way, every single time we try our bestest to have a live stream, even when it's on the road, you'll be alerted to it. I'm trying to figure out, like, I don't know if it's this, if it's our phone, if it's our internet, but I'm we don't sorry. have great internet here, guys. So yes. we're trying, but I'm trying to turn this off. <laughs> So we are in Nashville for the we Proper are. Human Diet Summit. And we had an- Don't worry about this. I worry I, about this, okay. you talk. You, you'll, you'll worry about that for me? Um, we had an awesome morning and evening, or, no, or afternoon, rather. Yep. This is the evening. We'll get it together. We're screwed up because we, yesterday- It's not 8.30. Well, it's not 8.30, and we're still a little punch drunk because- Yesterday, our plan was to stop driving at like eight o'clock at night. And when we stopped, we were going to pull over. We stopped driving probably about 830. And Rachel and I looked at each other and we're like, I I've keep got going. plenty of energy. And then we started thinking about, we are three hours from Atlanta. Anybody who knows Atlanta knows the traffic in Atlanta in the morning is horrible. So you want to be past that by 8 a.m. Right. So we started going, okay, well, we can get a hotel here. Or we could keep going. But if we get a hotel here, that means we're going to have to wake up at 5 a.m. And by the time we get to bed, it's going to be like 1030. We're going to have to wake up at 5 a.m. to get out of here to beat the Atlanta traffic. So we decided to go straight through. The problem Ooh. is we got into Nashville at about 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And uh, we couldn't find a hotel that would let us come in. It was like, I felt like Forrest Gump trying to sit on the school bus. It was like, taken, taken. Yeah. No, no room. Lots of rooms for Thursday night, which we yes. knew all along because we have an Airbnb for Friday night. And so we kept calling around. We went in and they're like, we're full. We're full all week. And I'm like, but the Marriott yeah. app says that I can book a room right now for tomorrow night. No. And then the one person was like, sorry, we closed our books. We don't take anybody We're after done. seven o'clock at night. I'm like, what? So finally we called this one Mary and I'm like, I'm going to just book it. We have to sleep in our car. We'll sleep in our car. And I called the guy and I'm like, listen, I'm booking a room right now for Thursday night. Is there any way you can let us in come in now? And he's like, you have to pay for it. And I'm like, I'm fine paying for it. Yeah. So we do get over here and the guy's like, you know what? I'm just going to let you have your room early. So we're just going to basically you give you it? early time at 4 a.m. I'm I'm blown away. So we didn't even get charged for the room. And we used our points for tonight. So, but yeah. And of course, sunrise woke us up at 7 a.m. <laughs> Thanks, son. But you know what? We're sleeping better. And I actually was ready for the day. So we went to downtown Nashville. We brought our scooters and we rode all around. And it's like a concert going on every five steps that you walk. I'm too old for that. I mean, I was amazed. Yeah. Every single different building had a person having a concert there. Yeah. It was. I, I mean, it's cool. It was pretty awesome. It's just, it's beyond my years at this point, or I'm beyond that. I, th I think it's, it's probably the experience is probably more enhanced if you are like, enjoying some adult beverages but yeah. like well i'm not doing that we're, not we're do, eating we beef butter bacon yeah, and eggs, we so we're that. definitely not doing that so let's get into the chat so if you are new to our channel this is our thursday night live stream normally we're in our studio but like we said right now we are here in, in our bedroom Nashville, tennessee for the proper human diet summit we will be emceeing the online live event we hope you'll join which us which is being actually sponsored for free by keto chow thanks keto so chow so if you'd like to watch the proper human diet summit you want to head on over to the keto chow website to basically say notify me when it starts which i believe is 9 a.m. on oh. sat 9 a.m. eastern time right. on saturday um, and we will be emceeing the online portion 
Uh, and then there's about 125 people or so who have tickets for the actual event. We're so excited. I just got a text message from Miriam. She says they're on the plane. So the bears are on their way yep. to Nashville. I'm so stinking excited. Yeah. So if you're new here, Thursday live streams are pretty much us hanging out with our community. We're going to answer any questions you have. What you want to talk uh, about? Wherever the chat takes us is what the subject for the night is. But yeah. if you have keto questions, carnivore questions, questions about the beef, butter, bacon, and egg that our community is currently on, go ahead and ask them in the chat. We're going to try to get to as many as possible. We're hoping that the internet holds up. I'm running on my T-Mobile hotspot. so awesome. We got a T-Mobile hotspot over there. Uh, the hotel Wi-Fi, horrible. Yeah. Uh, we have an AT&T hotspot over there as a backup and a Verizon hotspot over there as the backup to the backup to the backup. We try. So we're we're trying. Uh, if you want to make sure your question does get answered, use the super chat function. That's a little dollar sign that is inside of the chat window. You can uh, put a little bit of money in there and it automatically highlights our screen. Don't feel obligated to do that. No. But if you want to, that is a great way to support the channel. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we're going to jump down through this chat a little bit. And I'm sorry, but I got to look on my phone to read the chat or look over here one way or the other. Uh, Kelly said, how were Hi, your Kelly. car snacks? We fasted. Yeah. We you, were going to eat. We brought hard-boiled eggs. We totally were. I will say that. Um, my cooler's broken. My sciatic nerve was on my nerves. It, it's been a long time since I've like had a, an issue with it. That is not a beer. Just want to put that out there. Water. It's water in a fancy in a can. marketing can. And the only reason we have it, don't think we are bougie and buy this water no. that is like $14 for 12 cans. It was buy one, get one free one day at Publix. So I bought six cases of it. And we only use it when we travel. Yeah, it's only for traveling. So yeah, no, the intention was to eat on the car ride. And yeah. to stop, the intention was to stop six hours in and eat in the hotel. We brought hot dogs, hard boiled eggs. Um, what else? A chorizo sausage. Chorizo sausage. We bought the um Some certified meat sticks just in case. Piedmontese. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, we and were it's funny in the vlog this morning. You're like, you brought the, the jalapeno by accident. And I was like, no, it was on purpose. I forgot. Yeah, we didn't have them, but I wasn't supposed to. I'm not supposed to have jalapeno. But you know what but happened? That's a meat stick. Um, it's a spice. When we got in the car, we were like, you know what? I don't want to have to go to the bathroom. So just go. We're fine. Just just Fast, just I, I'm fine. Just High go. five to everybody. Anybody who's been watching for any length of time knows that I cannot be in a car without a drink. I filled up my 128 ounce cup from Circle K with sparkling water. Right. When we left, there is still water in it now. And I only stopped to go to the restroom two times for 1100 miles. Normally, I can't make it 100. You know miles. what I'm thinking, right? What? I'm thinking zip fizz. No remember? Zip fizz. Remember yeah. when we go on a trip, I tell Joe, no zip fizz. Right. Because he pees like a racehorse. Every hour on Every the hour. single hour. So Gotta have the trucker urinal bags. In yes, the car. it's terrible. I and mean, we're if not you're telling trying to Eleanor behind us. make time. Right. Yeah, no. It's nice when you have a trailer and you can just be like, hey, let's pull over and use the restroom. Right. <laughs> yeah. So we just decided uh we weren't hungry. And then this morning, um, we just got up. There's no like special breakfast or anything. So we kind of, we did our work this morning after waking up at seven o'clock in the morning. And then uh, we went downtown and then we were trying to find a barbecue place. Cause again, beef, butter, bacon, egg, I want by the pound. And they definitely have We were have looking it. at Longhorn, but Longhorn wouldn't break stuff up. Well, they definitely have um, lots of barbecue places but in Nashville. But are only open on Friday and Saturday. It's very hard to find one that's open right now. Like, I guess on a Thursday. And they close at 2 o'clock. It's very early. Well, and that was the same way in Texas, right. to be honest. Like, that's, you know, Heath. That's had, why we ended up at Terry Black so often. He, right. Heath had said, that's the testimony of, like, a really good barbecue place. Like, they should sell out very quickly. But then also... You know, we cook a lot of beef, we smoke a lot of meat, we barbecue a lot, and it's so hard for me to pay like $30 for a pound of meat when we eat meat so all much. of the time, yeah. you know, with and special meat. So we actually wound up finding a place that was super cool. It was Corky's. Corky's and Barbecue. It was pretty inexpensive. Yeah. We paid like just under 50 bucks. 
We got a pound of a brisket, ton. a pound of sausage, and a half a pound of pulled pork, all without sauce. No sauce at all. So they're really good about. I mean, not top quality barbecue. It certainly wasn't. It was Texas a fast barbecue, casual, but it it wasn't bad. We got a bunch left over. It got the job done. And, but we didn't eat until I guess what? Oh, I got back just in time for school. So five o'clock. So, and that may be what you guys are experiencing on triple B and E by day, like 14, 15. I feel like everybody knows. Okay. I know what feel fools like or full feels like not feel fools like, but what full feels like. Right. And but at that point, they're just like, okay, can I just not eat today? If I don't want to eat? Yes. You're allowed to not eat if you don't want to eat. Right. It's just, it's hard. Yeah. Right. Because you're just like, I'm, I'm kind of done. I'm kind of full. I did cheat yesterday. I had two cups of coffee, but I drove for 12 hours. We'll allow it. And and I was the only one who did the driving. I offered several times. Yeah. Several. You, you offered like, would you like me to drive? Would you like me to drive? Mm -hmm. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> it was kind of half hearted. Uh, Michelle, thank hey, you Michelle. very much for the $5 super chat. Said, wish I was there. Maybe next year. Me too. So grateful that I can watch online. Me yes. too. It's so awesome. It's going to be super fun. You know, Don't we're, worry. We're going to make it fun. We're going to bring the nonsense. I mean, you know that, right? Like yeah. we're, we, we bring in the nonsense. I, I mean, I've packed a bag of nonsense. I mean. She did. I've actually, she literally brought a bag of nonsense. I actually shopped for and packed. I'm going to give you a high five. A bag of nonsense. Because we fit all of our stuff into one bag. I had to share. I had to share but, a suitcase with this joker. Because I wanted to bring the scooters. And so, I, and I wanted to bring the scooters too. So I was like, okay, fine. You're I will give share up a bag to bring the scooters. We have a small a car. It's a Volkswagen Jetta. We had, um, before conference season began, we traded in my car with the prospect Best decision ever of like, if we have to drive someplace, we could really lower Can our I gas bill. How much we spent on our yes, gas? because I'm so proud of this. Over 1,100 miles, it costs us $55 in gas to get here. What? What? Now I know that's that, insane. That there are people like Jerry that I mean, $55. That if you're driving, you know, like electric car, you're not spending. And I was money. driving 80 to 85 miles an hour the whole ride. But for us. I mean, that is crazy yeah. good. No, I, I crazy I good. I was pretty impressed. I was very impressed. Okay, Susan said I'll have to watch the stream replay. I'm celebrating being 53 years young with friends oh, on Saturday. How nice! Uh, Purple Love and Nuna said, "Wish I can hear what's going on, but still dealing with work." Oh man, I'm so sorry. Are you ear hustling on the side. Uh, Renee said, "Rachel, I need to send you a stretch for that sciatic." Thank you. That would be awesome. I need one. And it's it honestly doesn't flare up very often. I know Anthony DiPetro has been going through like a journey with this that I'm like, I, to even say, hey, I'm hurting. I feel like, shut up, Rachel. You don't know what hurting is. But after 11 hours, I mean, I, it was, I was definitely shaking. It wasn't 11 hours. It was actual 11 hours of driving, but with stopping for gas, we did, Oof. when we made the My decision to go straight through, we did stop at Bucky's one time, but it was only like a half hour stop. I got this shirt. You got that shirt. And I got our grandbaby that's coming, her first onesie. I'm going to call it a skirt. Well, you got her. You it's did, a onesie skirt. I hate to tell you, but like, those clothing purchases are already being made by by me and extended family. What you managed to do was get the first Bucky souvenir. Mine is the first one that went on social media, so I went. Oh, okay. So you got yours. Counted. Nobody else's counts. Mine counts. I just think that it's funny that like we're trying to shop at like cutesy, like girly places, and Joe. I is got buying... the thumbs up from mom and dad for a Bucky's onesie. Joe is buying his clothing at uh at the gas station that's where he is choosing to get all his presents from is the gas station it's bucky's pat said i wish i had gotten a ticket for the phd conference i'm halfway between nashville and louisville i'll see oh, you palooza how nice I, somebody i think was putting something on Sandra. members on the mighty network so go look on mighty network somebody may have an extra ticket i'm not yeah. quite sure um but we will be in louisville in just two Yay! weeks just a couple more sleeps that's another and drive yeah very that's excited drive. about that and um i will need that stretching exercise for my butt cheek there, Alyssa and john said joe i can't make it to walmart without having to pee 
eat them salt. Yeah, seriously. I mean, but that has made a big difference. I felt like we were super energized today. I have been squirting the keto chow electrolyte drops and fasting drops mm -hmm. like nobody's business in every single glass of Rachel water. Rachel had a calf cramp so bad on the ride yesterday. She did a triple squirt <laughs> shot in her mouth of the keto chow magnesium And you know drops. that stuff tastes terrible. I mean, it's not as bad as like the baby berry drops, like the, you know, daily mineral Gross. drops, but there it's, it's up there. Uh, Stephanie said, how long does it take to get to a normal blood level? What is your morning blood sugar? Good question. Yeah. Uh, everybody is unique. Remember, we are not doctors, nurses, or health professionals. One of these days, we're going to remember to start the streams with that. Probably um, not, though. We need to. Uh, we're not doctors, nurses, or health professionals. Everybody is different. It depends on how in, uh, metabolically inflexible or fle how metabolically flexible you are, how metabolically damaged you are. Super um, damaged over here. For Took us, a long time. Our blood sugars in the morning, again, it depends on a lot of things, but you do experience the Don Fama. It's going to go up a little bit in the morning, but normally for me in the morning, uh, it's somewhere in the 80s. Rachel is somewhere in the 70s, sometimes 80s. It really depends. Um, one thing I find if I eat a little bit more fat with my last meal, I have lower morning blood, blood glucose. Yeah. That's, I'm not lowering my protein at night. I'm raising the fat yeah so that's one thing that's the challenge eating one to one it'll be a good normal you up it a little bit it will normally bring it down but again everybody is different we're also seeing a lot of people benefit from um ending their last you know closing their in uh with eating window at least two hours before yeah. they go to bed that yeah. seems to be helping people a lot but morning blood uh, blood glucose can be affected by your sleep your stress level um, if you have a pimple, you're going to have elevated glucose. The best thing I can tell you is if you're trying to control your glucose, if you're trying to control your sugars, maybe you're having a hard time saying glucose uh, type two diabetes, I'm I'm tired. Close. um, what you really want to do is eat as close to zero carb as possible. Give beef butter bacon. If you give beef butter bacon and egg it's 30, 60, really 90 days, you're going to have some phenomenal results with your glucose. Um, but the closer you eat to zero carbs, it's not something you really are going to have to worry about because you're not giving yourself sugar. So your glucose is going to come down. Yeah. Um, and count total carbs, not net carbs. Total carbs. Net carbs is a joke. Also, avoid as much as humanly possible um, the tor the. You have a you, you have a I'm sorry you know you have a you know what for the breads, don't you? The, you made a comment about it thriving today. We saw a big billboard for a keto we bread. We did see a big billboard Rachel here. Rachel doesn't like keto breads, I, unless it's the Maria Emmerich breads. I cannot tell you how many people I run into on a weekly basis who is like, I am so frustrated. I was doing keto great. Everything was awesome. I felt really good. And now all of a sudden, I feel like my keto journey has gotten away from me. Like, what is going on? As soon as I ask them, do you utilize low carb or zero carb, allegedly, tortillas? Or do you use low carb um, or zero carb, supposedly, uh, bread? There is no such thing as a zero carb bread. Yeah. Any company that says this is, I was actually looking on the website for the one that's advertising on the billboard in Nashville. I don't even want to say the name. I was going to put, I'm no, we're not. Mad. I was going to put a comment on their website, but there was no place to put comments because they were claiming to be a zero carb bread. There's no such thing in any company that says they're a zero carb bread, flat out, uh, send them to me. They are liars. They're liars. There is no such thing as a zero carb bread. Not even the Maria Emmerich bread is zero carb because there eggs. are egg, there are carbs in eggs. So yeah. even Maria Emmerich's bread is not zero carb. That is the closest you can get to zero carb, but it's not zero carb. If you're gonna use them, um, you know, use Maria Emmerich's recipe. Use Indigo the new, Nilly's new recipe is amazing. That new recipe, you should put it up today too. Fantastic! I love it, and you know why I love it so much is that fat. Yeah. Boop 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 is up. Yeah. But um, yeah, don't worry about that. But Rachel, we were going to call about it. They, the ingredients actually had I'm wheat going to, in it. I'm, there was wheat in it, wheat starch. Mm. I really want to know what what is the new thing, the new ingredient conditioner? Yes. Dough conditioner. What is dough conditioner? I need to message Steve and find out what that is. Yeah. I've never heard of it. Okay. 
Gloria said, reminder, y'all are dumping oxalates. That'll definitely cause aches and pains and creepy stuff coming from your skin. Very important for us to keep that in mind when we drop carbs, stopping veg. Yeah, we yeah. don't really do, do a lot of oxalates to begin with. Once in a while, we have like our um, jalapeno poppers and we're not veggie eaters. But that is something, you know, if you eat a lot of vegetables and then dump them, you, you can, can get, break out. You can get horrible breakout. And yeah. here's the thing. The only way to get past it is to get through it. You just got to stick it Keep out, going. unfortunately. It's hard, though. It really is. And it's painful. And you're yeah. like, you know, you have a whole week to do. You got to go to work. Yep. You have things to do. You have a family to take care of. And you're like, I don't want to push past this. But it's kind of like the keto flu. You, you know, don't quit keto. Because you feel super wonky when you know you first get started. Jennifer said, "I'm angry. I got diagnosed with coron coronary uh, coronary microvascular disease. Wow. For some reason, all I can think of is I had known the truth decades ago about how to avoid hyperinsulinemia. I could have avoided oh, this. Oh, so, don't do not beat yourself nothing we up. We can do about it, right? Now, now you know better. Yeah, I mean, we were the same way. Like. I, we were watching, rewatching, um, my interview with Dr. Chris Palmer and it was amazing. If you have seen that and are willing to share it, please share it because I think about what keto has done for my mental illness and, um, and metabolic brain disease. Cause that's, I really like how he identifies that, you mm -hmm. know, differently, but I think to myself, why did my whole family and me have to go through all of the pain and frustration of basically taking pills for something that nutrition could have helped? Yeah. The, pay, the pills did nothing. And the nutrition is what changed everything for, for me. So, but it's like, I can't go in a time machine and go back and change stuff. Okay. So we just have to move forward. Let's get through some of this chat. Uh, Liz said, question. Hey, Liz. Course website issues, not able to open the course. Send me a private message in Mighty Networks if you're having a problem with it. Um, the biggest problem that people have with the course, they're like, I can't do the next lesson. That's because all of the lessons are timed. So unless you are way behind where maybe you open it up 15 days ago and then didn't watch five lessons, you can only do one lesson a day. Yeah. If you start... There's three lessons. The very second that you unlock the course, there's three lessons. You then have to wait one day before you can get to the next lesson. You then have to wait another day before you get to the next lesson. Yeah. So we just released four lessons today. However, so one, the first one, which is about how to eat out on beef, butter, bacon, egg, unlocks when you get to day... Like 19. No, was it day 19? 16. I think it's day 16, but then the next one is like day 17 or 18. Then the next further. one is day 19. So that basically, whatever that number is, uh, you have to be one day ahead of behind that. So if you take unlock day 20, it's technically your 21st day because the day that you open up the course doesn't count. Right. But it, it's done that way on purpose so that you don't watch all of the lessons and in the like, first five days. And, and it's also, it's a con. Like right. there's, you don't want to be talking about stuff in week three when we're talking about optimizing things after getting in touch with satiety when you haven't gotten in touch with satiety. Right. Yet. You don't want to go to the next thing. Yeah. But if you're having any other issue, send me a private message and we'll walk through it. Uh, Lisa said, I finally got my electrolyte tablets the other day. I started taking them right away, but I don't know how many I should take. We take two to four a day. Yeah. Um, it just depends on what you feel you need. I kind of go by my body, but I think two, four of them, if the Redmond ones, I think four of them is equal to a stick or is it two of them? Two of them is equal to a stick. I think two of them is equal to a stick, but a lot of times I take four of them. Okay. Chris said, hello tribe. Oh, how I wish I could have been there this weekend. What Aww. an exciting weekend. So excited. Is Le that Chris, like K-R-I-S, Chris? No, Chris, Chris B. Post. Oh, okay. LaShawn said from Florida. Yes, from Florida. Chris was sick and under the weather, and I hope that you're feeling better. That was K-R-I-S, Chris. Yeah. Jennifer said, can someone with IBS eat carnivore? I know a lot of people who eat carnivore yeah. on IBS. Uh, if you do have problems where you're not able to go to the Coach bathroom. Coach Bronson. Increase fat, increase salt. I believe Coach Bronson had that. Okay. And he's in our Facebook family group a lot if you have a question about that. Semi-retired Bob said that won't even fill my tank one time. Right? I mean, well, in Joe's Our truck. Our tank only takes, 10, only takes 10 gallons. When we travel with Eleanor and we're pulling it with our truck, we get like nine 
um, what was it? Nine miles to Seven the gallon. Seven to nine miles to a gallon when it's I pulled it. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah. So I think the car has like an 11, maybe 12 gallon gas tank. We, when we pulled over, we had gone exactly 500 miles and I had enough gas according to the thing to go another 65 miles. Mm -hmm. That's, it yeah, was, we, we were averaging 40, like five or 46 miles we, to a gallon. We downgraded my car, but we definitely like upgraded our, our gas mileage yeah. and that was worth it. Juju said about to pan fry some cube steak up with some salt and Yum, butter. Make me some. Chris said, uh, five, thank you for the $5 super chat. Said question, is there a free link to Keto Chest Screaming the entire summit? If so, would you please mm -hmm. share it? I, I don't know if we have a moderator here. What you want to do, go to the Keto Chow Facebook, uh, YouTube. So go to YouTube for and then look for Keto Chow. On their main page, you go down a little bit. And let me see if I can find He it. may have already set it up. I Well, they're on a plane. And so. I saw that. Nisha, it's set up, but I don't, I'm looking for the link. posted it. Um, I saw she posted it in Facebook at least, so I'm sure she posted it all over the place. Let me see if I can find that it. you could um, look at. You want me to take the next one while you're yeah. doing that? Okay. Oop, how do I get out of the screen though? Okay, there we go. Um, Lashawn said, "My ba grandbaby will have a lot of sneakers when I have one." Oh yeah, because that was fun. In fact, there was a little girl at church who always, she was in the toddler room and she always had the most amazing sneakers. They were like crazy awesome. And I finally, asked, and they were different every week. And I finally asked her dad, like, what are you doing? Like, where are you getting all of these sneakers? And he said that there was a club that you could sign up for. It was like a baby club. And it gave you, it was kind of like, um, uh, like, you know how Netflix, you could get the DVD mailed to your house mm. and like, you could, okay, well now I'm done with it and send me the next one on my list. Right. It's the same thing. It was like that, but with shoes for babies because babies never touch the ground. They never dirty their shoes. John Paul had new sneakers constantly. His mom was always like, I never oh, even Air put sneakers Jordans and stuff. On Anthony, Caleb. like every mistake you make with the first kid, you don't do it the second. Right. At least that was what we did. Anthony didn't have also, a box. I had albums upon albums of photos of John Paul. I don't think that there's 10 pages of pictures of Anthony before we had a cell phone. My best friend, Beth, is one of seven kids. She's the last one. Seven kids. No, I'm sorry. She's six. And she is very emphatic about, like, all of the kids getting equal photography time. I because she was that. like... I was lucky I got my feet on my birth certificate for real because my parents were just done taking pictures. Uh, Renee said, when Rachel said, I've been squirting, I was so nervous how that sentence was going to end. <laughs> uh, let's see. Joanna said, I add electrolytes to everything I drink and I drink no less than five glasses of water a day. Now I, be careful there because you could be getting too much sodium sure and just, causing water If you have uh, water retention, retention so, just drink a bunch of glasses you just of water. Your body. Make sure things um, flush out. I always kind of up my electrolytes whenever I travel. And one of the reasons why is I am very sensitive to, um, changes in humidity. I know that that sounds crazy, but I am. And when, uh, whenever we go to like Utah or, you know, even when we're in Texas and the humidity isn't like it is at home, I mean, I just, I retain water. I like, I get breakouts. Are I you never looked at the front of that. Oh, my, my Dory hat. What does it say on top? I'm having a Dory moment. I'm having a Dory moment. Um, then I, I'm just really sensitive to it. So always kind of um, make sure I up my electrolytes a lot. Uh, we got, we're so behind. Sorry. Uh, Joanna said, I've been getting a foot cramp lately on the side of my foot. Very painful. I'm yeah. so sorry. Oh, see, you go. Catery said, I have a ticket to PhD Summit that I would love to give someone. I posted nice. it in Mighty Network. So Thank there you, you go. So much. Uh, Marina said, ticket. I hate the leg cramps. Makes me jump out of bed. I need some of those drops. Joe Remy Fasova Keto. Uh, I just saw Do one. you have your, um, oh man. Okay, I'm having a Dory moment. Karaoke. Do you have your karaoke song selected? Sarah Gustafson, who's on her way to the PhD Summit, she's traveling. Hi, if you guys are traveling, safe travels. 
um, did karaoke for the first time in her life last yeah. night oh. and is uh, definitely would consider herself a an introvert. And she was like, but I did it. And wow. I love it. I love experiencing new things. Jennifer said beef butter bacon egg for five months. A1C is 4.2. That's like Wow. Insanely that good. is flipping awesome. Robin's here said, did I hear hey, you Robin. say that eating 200 grams of protein day after day is not ideal? I didn't say that. <laughs> it depends on. Totally up to you. Who it is. Uh, there was a question here wanting to know how many meals a day we eat. Do we, uh, Denise want to know, do you eat? It's different every day. It we really is. We completely listen to our body. Uh, we do not track our food. We do not weigh our food. We don't count our food. We don't count calories. Uh, my personal opinion is counting calories doesn't work uh, and is silly that we need to, if you want to count anything, you need to count grams of fat grams of protein that you're eating because there is a difference between well we don't need we're, to count we don't need to count carbohydrates because we want to keep our carbohydrates so low. super low but, if you are, if you get to the point where you have to count them you're eating too many right there you just go just telling you that right on the, if you're like oh my gosh how many carbohydrates did i eat today you're probably eating too many so because you can pretty much keep track. You don't need an app to keep track of. I kept it under twenty total carbs. Right. Right. I had a. I if had a side dish. Math, of you're probably having too many. So, um, but one day we all have one meal. One day we'll have two. Sometimes we have three. Sometimes, Sometimes we, we have, have none. Sometimes we have none. It it really just depends. Today we had one. But we ate like two and a half pounds of meat between the two of us. So, so it felt. It depends on the day. Yeah. I was, you know, you're just ready to eat. So, and that's the thing. Sometimes we have breakfast. Sometimes we don't. Right. So, and like for now we're what? 15 days in. Now it's the time that if you have felt full, you can start having that discussion with your, your own body. You know, just like Lisa was doing in our podcast where yeah. she's trying to be like, okay, I know what full feels like. I feel now good about that. Cut it back a little bit Now earlier. I need to take two steps back so that I can enjoy my day and not, and not be, be uncomfortably full. Yeah. Uh, Rena said, I take a mag supplement every evening, but I still get random leg cramps. Probably need more. Some people need a lot of that. Yeah. My mom definitely does. She will like jump out of bed. Marianne said a few weeks ago, I had a leg cramp on the front of my leg. It hurt so bad. I passed so out from the pain. Oh my goodness. One time we were in the car and I almost jumped out of the car. Like yeah. it was bad. And in KetoCon, because again, I need my electrolytes. I have to beef them up when we have any kind of change in temperature. It was bad. And I, I jumped up and screamed and I felt so bad because we were in very close proximity to Lynette's room and Stephen Holly's room. And, but I just couldn't help it. it I just leaped out of bed screaming. Yeah. Um, Cam said no bread here. Afraid to even try the egg white protein bread. It's good. And but again, but it that's a good it's fence the ingredient. to have. Yeah. It, it can lead people down a rabbit hole. For us, it became a drive-by. So now we have to keep it with our meal. Yeah. Uh Betsy says Steve from Serious Kid always done fantastic videos on tortillas and bread. He sacrificed so much for that community. Yeah. Yeah. And what did he find? A lot of this, uh, there were several of those low carb ones. With increases in glucose. And to me, if, if your glucose goes up 20 points, 25 points, every time you have it, that's that's not, that's that's a no. Okay, some people may not consider that a spike, but to me, it's a no. You go up a couple of points whenever you eat something, but if it's consistently going up like that, there's wonky ingredients in there. Because according to them, there's zero, zero or one carb. Yeah. That's so, if there's zero or one carb, you should have next to nothing as far as a glucose spike. And I love like a really fun conveyance for friends. If you've never made them, use Joe's recipe for folio cheese wraps. It's an easy thing. It's it's like crazy how simple it is for, for to make those. Um, make them right in the microwave. Uh, and they work great because I did it. Like I like tortilla. I like Joe's carnivore mug bread. That's really good. I love Indigo Nilly's new recipe. I love Maria Emmerich's recipe for PSMF bread. So there is bread out there. And, you know, whenever you're trying a new recipe, time, it can be a little bit scary. Um, I'm definitely not a, like a big cook. We know that. In fact, that's our entire series is like it has to be so easy that even I can make it right. in order for us to put out a recipe. Time. But once you get the hang of it and you do 
a couple of loaves, you know, especially that PSMF bread, I get the hang of it. And then now I feel very in control of my keto journey. Like I can make this and it feels very fancy, right? It's like, I make my own yogurt. I make my own sauerkraut. I make my own bread, yep. right? You feel good about yourself. Okay. So we're, we, it's starting to scroll too fast. Oh, we got to get going here. Um, okay. Somebody wanted to know where we got our coffee mugs from the Bacanya vlog. Um, we always look for them. Some people, some mugs people send to us. The glass ones at the beginning, that's why I was just looking at what they were. And that Amazon? They came off of Amazon. Those are 16-ounce, like, latte mugs. And the ones at the end, like, I know the the one that I've been using, my Sesame Street one, I found at SeaWorld. The other one <laughs> Rachel found online. We we like, it's got to be at least 16 to 20 ounces for a mug. Yeah. Uh, that's, it's, like, it's, kind of our rule. It's got to be a good size one. LaShawn said, I thought Joe said it's wheat in the bread. Oh, no, Wheat. Sorry. Joanna said, uh, my brother bought me a bag from Sam's Club of the nut seed mixes, all clean ingredients. I was so happy. I told them I have to wait to eat them. Oh, way to go. I'm super proud of you. I hope that you are proud of yourself. If you are 15 days into this challenge and you have never participated in a 30 day challenge before, I want you to put in the comment section a cartwheel because I want to see and acknowledge that this is a first for you. And this is hard. It is hard. It's not easy for us. Let me tell you, I was driving, we were driving back to the hotel and I looked at Joe and I said, I could, I, I don't know where this is coming from, but I could really use a Diet Coke right now. Yeah. That is never me. We got a seltzer water. That is never me though. Right. So I get it. This is hard. And you may have like random like cravings just thrown at you as mm. your brain is trying to say like, are we really done with this stuff? That's right. Yeah, we can do it. I mean, when we start going, it's too restrictive. That that just comes down to mind over matter. But I want to honor But it's people. really the point. The whole point of it is you want to get to the point where like, if you you want to be sick of beef. You want to be sick of eggs and that like, Oh, okay. If I eat, that's what I, yeah, I'm probably not that hungry. You know that's what happens what though, we're trying to get is to. that we have, instead of being completely obsessed with when do I eat, when do I eat? I want to eat. When do I eat? Like obsessed with food. We really in this challenge, um, start to put food into the fuel category. It's just yeah. fuel. And you start, stop having like a relationship with it. You know, make me happy. Bring me joy. Right. Uh, Denise wants to know what course. Uh, we have a beef, butter, bacon, and egg 30-day course where there's about 25 videos. Yeah. It's where you get video lessons throughout it, and then we do Monday live check-ins. I think we close it for this it is, semester. Nope, it is getting shut off tomorrow morning oh. because 30 days would be day seven. Would, would be the October the 17th. Okay. So it is getting shut off tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, it was, of course we did for $30. The next time we run it, it will probably be more money just to let everybody know. It was like a first time experiment for us. Um, but uh, it's been good. It's I, been I think really people fun. are having a lot of results. I'm really excited about we, seeing what's We had happening. some people sharing results at, this morning of just like getting in touch with their society like eliminating stuff, just feeling very victorious, uh, you know, starting to feel some movement in their pants, which is good. That's a great measurement is, is our clothing, right? Because we're off the scale. We're finding that we're losing weight in our clothing. And it, you know, you just feel really good when you're like, Hey, I got these pants on. Uh, Joyce said, Dr. Palmer's interview was amazing. Thank you. Sherry said, I, love I, him. I wish there was a time machine to correct our course. Yeah. It's when you know better, you do better. That's right. Right. But I'm so thankful. Lisa wants to know, is it too late to change the, no, tomorrow is the last day to, to do yeah. the course. Absolutely. Now we have private coaching. Yeah. But not the, the course will end tomorrow. Right. I was just thinking that I, I'm very thankful that if you are breathing in and out, it's not too late. Right. It's not too late. That's right. You know, we can have health momentum. And, you know, like I said, we're starting to have people give feedback that major things are changing. And we are on day 15, 15 days. Right. What medicine, what pill have you ever taken that in 15 days had like super amazing results? I know. Not None for me. No. Pam said, finding myself not eating enough in my meals by bedtime, I'm not really hungry again. Does it matter how many times a day you eat? No, no. but just make sure you are eating till you are stuffed. Yeah. 
if you, especially if you're only eating one meal a day, you should be eating to the point of like, as Lisa said on the, in the video, Thanksgiving stuffedness. Yeah. You do want to be trying to get a minimum of 80 to 100 grams of protein in a day. And you should be eating at least one to one, which would mean 80 to 100 grams of fat, you know, as well. And that's honestly probably not enough. You're only looking at about 1,400 calories. But if there. you're getting full... And you're like, oh, I just don't want to eat anymore. It's that's good. Yeah, but if the next day you want to eat four times, you should. It's be okay. Four times. That's the whole point. That's we yeah. eat when we're hungry. We don't eat when we're not we hungry. We should. Isn't every day different? Yep. Aren't days different? Aren't days have different demands, different stressors, different energy requirements? So why would we be eating the exact same thing with the exact same amount every single day? Yeah. Joanna, sentence of the week. I can't unsee it. Yes. Can't get it out of my mind since I heard Joe say, thank you, Joe. It's so true. PhD is, is uh, the way I think now. Now so that's from us. Yeah. That actually came from James. From Ready, Set, Keto. Ready, Set, Keto. We interviewed him for our podcast, which will probably be up next week. I don't know yet. I haven't finished editing it. But it was just something we were talking about. It, like going back, going off of keto. You know, he was like, I can't. I can't unsee what I know already. So it's like, you know. When my kids were growing up, I always told them, you can make as many mistakes as you want. Just don't make the same mistake twice. Because if you keep making the same mistake over and over again, that means you didn't learn from your mistake. Once we know what the standard American diet does to our body, once we begin and really educate ourselves what wheat does and sugar does, if we go back to eating that way, shame on us. Once I've learned that a home perm does not work, it doesn't work. If I go back and I try to perm my hair again by myself, I, I am the one to blame. Yeah. Obviously, clearly, because that didn't work yeah. at all. Nan said, hey, I couldn't Nan. catch the name of the two breads that you said were really good. There is no store bought. There is yeah. no bread that you can go to the store, a local store, and buy that is going to be a very good bread for you. And they taste okay. But I'm telling you, it's not good. It's got garbage ingredients. I have not found one. If somebody can find one that has no vital wheat gluten, no wheat grains, no canola, like the cleanest ingredients, send it to me. Yeah. Okay. Because we will absolutely do a view on it. And then I'll eat the plastic bag that's wrapped in. There you go. Okay. Uh, there are some keto friendly breads out there that are good uh the like best it. one is fox, fox hill kitchen, kitchen but it's not zero carb and it's not and at it's your not zero total store. carb it's not zero net carb and you can't get it in a grocery store right but that is it it's made with like psyllium husk so those kind of breads are good but the best bread that you're going to be able to eat if you want to get to true zero carb without impacting you is going to be Maria Emmerich's protein sparing bread. That's the basis for a lot of the ones you see people making at home. Yeah. It's a little styrofoamy. I'm going to be honest. Drink it with Brit, have water. Then you, there's lots of modifications. Like our basic modification was we put a scoop of keto chow in it and it changes the texture. Indigo Nilly, go watch her channel. She is a master at the breads. And recently, if you go to her channel, it's like, Four days old, five days old at this point. She came. It's more than that. It's last Thursday, so it's a week old. She came. She took that same I bread to be exact. She took the same bread, but now puts in some frozen butter shavings, and it now ups the fat to about sixty percent fat. Because the biggest problem with the egg white protein bread is it's straight egg whites. That amount of protein can affect you, especially egg whites, especially if you're eating a lot of it. And we have met a lot of people who have developed egg white sensitivity because they're eating so, so much, much of, of that bread. Yeah. So that's something you have to be careful. But there is no bread you can buy in the store that is super clean ingredients, that is a true zero total carb. And zero net carbs is a joke. I love Janice says, Anthony Chaffee's opinion of fiber is eating a plastic bag. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina said, picture starting to get blurry, but can still hear oh, you. Oh, I see that. Okay. You're right. We might have to get off. Mimi said, how do I change my membership to Mighty Networks from YouTube? Uh, Mimi, can you send me a message and I will send you a thing on how to do it. I just, there's just a little link that I have to send you. Michelle said, I ate till stuff last night and that includes some 
sour fried beef trimmings that I finally was able to find locally. Wow. Can't eat it all. That's and then if you can't eat today, that's completely fine. Adele said, I did not think I could get last more than a few days. Now I'm thinking I can go through October. Look at this, Liz got cartwheels. So this is your first challenge, Liz. I'm so stinking proud of you. Do we have any other cartwheels? Because I'd love to shout out anybody. It's, 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 we're so far behind, I can't see the them first one. Oh, Selena. So, Way yeah. to go, Selena. Sky said, very, very late to be happy for both of you again about two months after the road. So much to catch up on. Aw, we're, we're glad to see ya. Uh, Sarah Angelina, G. my first Yay. challenge. Uh, Cats. Cat Chicks, my Yay. first people eat butter, bacon, and eggs. Nancy. So. Deborah. Okay. This is awesome. We are very blurry. So we are going to get. Oh my our... goodness. The ferret. Pam. Living for life. Laura. Purdy. MJ, Lisa, Joanna, man, y'all are awesome. rocking this. So now you you have to celebrate yourself yeah, because you've done this. Trina said, what kind of car gets that kind of gas mileage? We have a 2021 Volkswagen Jetta. Yeah. We had a Volkswagen T1. We traded it, it in. It was beautiful. They gave us more money for the car than we paid for I it. I love that car. And I bought, Rachel, the top of the line Jetta, not the one with the vroom vroom engine, it's, but the top of the line. Rachel's never owned a brand new car. She never had a brand new car other than when she first got her license. Her yeah, dad, when she my dad got him. But yeah, as an adult, her, she's never owned a new car. So I wanted her to have a new car. And we traded in the old car and got more money for it than we paid for Praise it. Praise the Lord. And so, but our whole goal was save gas. Yeah. Was save gas. That car got like 20 miles to a gallon. This one, the sticker said 40, but every review online said to get more. And yet, if I, I actually speed limit of like 70 miles an hour, We've had it up to 49 miles to a gallon. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Until we saw it. Yeah. So uh, super impressed with it. So we, oh, $20 super chat. Oh, my goodness. Cool. Gloria, thank you very much for the $20 thank you so super much. chat. That is so nice. Well, now it's, it cleared up a little bit if you want to try it. Yeah, let's for keep a going. While. Okay. Let's, we can't get behind. Okay. Adele said I did not think I, okay, we read that one because we, we scrolled. I, uh, we did nothing. You scrolled. Um, Michelle said, I ate till stuff last night, and that includes how we read that one. Emmy's here said, Evening to Casey Keto family. Hi. I don't know how much I missed. I'll catch the replay later. I'm visiting my mom this evening. How nice. Oh my gracious. That is so stinking awesome. My mom, I talked to her this morning, and she said that she has been like rearranging furniture back home because apparently a hurricane is headed toward our home. So please pray that it like just goes right back out to sea because we don't need it yeah uh jenna said i finally figured out why i can't figure out uh how um, to eat until i'm full i don't know what that actually feels like because i've always had to worry about making sure everybody else has enough to eat wow so definitely i i think that probably your best bet is going to be like meal prep meal prep where you feel very secure that everybody else has enough to eat and that there's more than enough for you to have. And that was definitely something, um, you know, we, we had to just prep and it, it almost seemed like too much, right? I mean, we would do like 25 hamburgers. We would do like 10 pounds of ground beef because it, it was just to know that we had enough that I could go back as many times as I needed to until I authentically got full. Oh, Gloria said the super chat is just because. Aw, bless your heart. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Everyone's saying we're starting to look like Marty McFly. So okay. We're getting off. I'm so, so sorry. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we're dealing with hotel Wi-Fi, the hotspots. You know where we a live stream will be here. awesome? Where? At the PhD Summit. PhD Summit, Saturday. Head over to the Keto Child uh, YouTube channel. You can sign up for it. We'll be crystal clear. Uh, I think I still have the link saved. Let me see. There we go. Is that it? That is the link, so you can go watch that stream. Yes. Okay. And uh, Monday, we will be back home for the Monday night check-in for the people on the yes. course. Kiddo on the Couch is pre-recorded. It is already recorded. It is already scheduled. Because we didn't want to risk it. Yep. It's going to be at 10 a.m. Eastern time. It will premiere. Uh Hopefully, we're in the chat we're as try. we're driving. Yes. So long as we have internet, Rachel will be in the chat. But if we are not in the chat, please chat amongst talk yourselves. amongst yourselves, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Have a great night, guys. Bye. Love you.